today I'm gonna go over my top 10 tips for super people. I definitely struggled a little bit whenever I first started playing this game and I really wish that I would have known a couple of things before I started out. So that's the whole purpose of this video. I really hope that it helps you guys out. If it does, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, feel free to leave a comment if you have any specific questions on anything about the game or anything that I covered, anything that I didn't. In general, I'll do my best to get to all of the comments. Our first tip of today's video is to learn how the crafting works. This game has a very unique feature where you can actually use materials to improve the rarity of your equipment through crafting. The reason why I love this feature is that it seems to take a lot of the RNG out of most BRs so that by the end of the match, if you play it right, everyone should have around the same level of equipment. So it feels more of like an even fight based on skill. I do have an entire guide that goes in depth on how to craft in this game as well. I'll be sure to leave it in the description below if you'd like to check it out. Tip number two is to pick up energy bars and know when to use them. Speed bars are the dark blue bars. Those will help increase your speed when you need a little extra kick. They're very, very helpful when you're trying to rotate, especially whenever you're trying to outrun the storm. Defense bars are the teal bars that can help you repair your damaged armor to full HP. Power bars are great to take before you get into a fight since they increase your damage. A question I got asked a lot in my stream was whether or not you could stack the bars with each other, whether you could take a speed bar and a defense bar and a power bar and have those all going at the same time. The answer sadly is no, you can only have one bar going at a time. You can add on. So say if you take one speed bar and you take another one, you will have the same effects but it will last longer so it will just extend the duration that you have that specific effect but you won't be able to stack multiple different types of bars at the same time if you have a farther way to rotate it might help to take two speed bars instead of one tip number three is to spend time learning your character's perks get really familiar with them as they are very very helpful every character has three red perks three green perks and three blue perks You'll get these as you play the match and level up your character. When a new perk is unlocked, it will pop up with a brief description telling you what it does in case you forgot. But you can always hover over the perks before you drop in to read what they do or even in the middle of the match if you are not sure exactly what effects your character has in the moment and what passive perks you have, what active perks that you have. Definitely take the time if you have it to hover over those perks and read them, try to understand them and think of the best ways to utilize them. Tip number four is to pop the pills that you get as soon as possible. There are red pills, green pills, blue pills, gold pills, and white pills. Now those red, green, and blue pills will coincide with the red, green, and blue perks that each character has. So if you take a red pill, it will help give you one notch on one of the red perks that you have. The more red pills you take, the more red perks you get, the more green, the more blue, so on and so forth. A white pill will actually give you two levels towards your ultimate ultimate ability and also unlocks two random slots of a perk of its choosing. The gold will do three of that effect. Pills only take up space in your inventory that can actually be used for other important things. So be sure to pop them as soon as you can. Tip number five is to add things to your personal supply crate. Now, if you don't know throughout the game, you will get a personal supply crate with items to be able to help you in the game. This also includes your specialized weapon, which will help your specific character deal a little bit more damage. But what a lot of people don't know is you can add things to your personal supply crate. You can either change your personal supply crate in the menu before you start the game, or if you are in the pregame lobby, all that you have to do is click on change supply. You can add up to five things in your personal supply. They will cost more gold as you open your supply crates. You might as well spend your gold on things that can help you win your matches. Typically what I include in my personal supply crate is one emergency kit, one red pill, two sets of first aid kits and either a speed bar or power bar. This next tip is super short and sweet and it's just to put your leaning ability on your side mouse buttons. I was having a really hard time figuring out where to put those keybinds because I don't really enjoy having Q and E as my lean. It feels really, really weird to me and I couldn't really find anything that utilized it well. So I actually wasn't using it for a long time. And then someone in my chat actually suggested that I put it on my mouse buttons. And so that really helped me out and I hope it helps you too. Tip number seven is to use your throwables 
please 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 use your throwables i have watched so many people sit there and lose a fight because they're not using their grenades or their mollies or smokes to help them rotate they are so 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 important please use your throwables some characters also have upgraded options of throwables like the molotov trap impact flashbang again going back to one of our previous tips was to learn your character's perks you will have some characters that will have upgraded flashbangs upgraded mollies that can go into molotov traps make sure that you're reading those and you're utilizing those correctly. Flashbangs can make a big difference if you know how to time them correctly. Smokes are essential if you also don't have a mobility character, if you don't have a way to quickly get out of a bad situation. Using smokes to be able to block someone's line of sight can help you rotate and get to a better location. Using smokes are absolutely essential if you are playing Marine. I will go into that in a later video on specific classes and what my suggestions are on how you should play each class. Using smokes as Marine is incredible because if he is sitting in his smokes, he can see through them and it's basically a one way. It's ridiculous. This next tip was actually a pretty big game changer for me and it's actually understanding that the attachments that you need for your guns will have a white halo coming out of the top of them. There's a little halo that shoots out from the attachment and goes up. And so as you're looking around, there's a lot of things on the ground. Sometimes it can be very overwhelming. The things that have the white halo on top means that you can use them on your guns. That saves up so much time from having to go up and read each of them. Obviously, I think it's important whenever there's different barrels that you can use to figure out which one best suits you. There's different magazines on the ground there's different sites there's a bunch of different things that you can use as attachments for your guns to make them better overall i highly recommend keeping an eye out for the white halo on top of those attachments so that you don't get confused having to sit there and worry about looting most of the time whenever you can speed that process up. Tip number nine is to know how to use your parachute. When you're first jumping out, obviously it depends on where specifically you're trying to go. But what I typically do is just aim straight for the place that I'm going. If I am jumping right above a place that I'm going, there is a quick dive option. By using the quick dive, you dive straight down. And as you pull your parachute, it will continue to take you straight down. If you need to glide a little bit more, utilize your glide. It is very, very helpful to be able to help you just go straight in a line to be able to make it to your destination. My last tip would be to use the momentum at the end of your glide. Once it says cut parachute, as long as it makes sense, with the momentum to be able to get you the loot before other people if it is a hot drop. If you cut your parachute, you will not take fall damage, so you don't have to worry about that. And I utilize it basically every time that I drop into a game. My last final and probably most important tip would be to use natural cover. With this game, if you get caught in the open without cover, it will be a very quick match for you unless you know how to use your abilities. There are some characters that you can use to quickly get out of a bad situation if you are are caught out in the open like marine having his fog of war you can teleport away using teleporter but in general you should always know how to use your natural cover to your advantage using your surroundings to lean and aim around objects to get the advantage on over other players will be very very beneficial to you a good idea would be to always assume that someone is about to fight you have a plan as you're rotating on where you need to go as you're running through a field look at the rocks around you look at the building that's close to you or the tree that you can get behind just in case someone starts to shoot you and that is it for our top 10 tips for super people beginners if you guys want a more advanced video we can go specifically into classes let me know in the comments what sort of videos you want me to cover also if there's any challenge videos that you want me to do i would love to come out with a lot of super people content i have a bunch of videos that i have ideas for but if you have any suggestions feel free to leave them in the comments also come stop by my live stream i'm most likely live right now playing the early access that just dropped october 11th i'm super excited and if not i'll see you guys in game